Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be doing a full face of dollar makeup. Yes, dollar makeup. I actually think some of these products were a little bit more than a dollar, but I don't think anything was like more than like seven or eight dollars. It's very cheap. I saw it on TikTok. A girl was telling me about it. It's called um, Miss A. So it's shopmissa.com. And so I went and bought all this makeup. And I don't even think I spent $60 on all of this. Like it's crazy. Um, and I got 34 pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and do a full face. I got brushes. I got all that stuff. I got some lipsticks, some beauty blenders. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. If you're excited to see how this makeup look turns out with $1 makeup, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. So before we get into it, I did get quite a few of these litter, little, litter, little, um, it's called Beauty Treats Butter Lip Balm Vanilla Mint Honey and aloes. So basically it's just lip balm, but I do want to put it on while I'm kind of waiting to do my makeup so I can hydrate my lips and also tell you how it feels. It's really thin for a lip balm, I feel like. I thought it was going to be, I guess, thicker, but it's not. It's really thin. It's actually not bad. So these were a dollar each. Um, I did get a little brush set. Okay, so I lied. This brush set was $10 or $10.55. So I think this was the most expensive item that I got. So it comes with like a cute little cup holder and container. Okay, so I also got another brow brush. And I think I'm actually going to use this brow brush instead of the one that comes in the kit. I might use like the spoolie off of this one. So this one is Malibu Glitz, and this is the Eyebrow Powder Brush On Color, but it seems a little bit too light for my eyebrows. And then I got a squeezy brow gel, which looks really dark. I'm assuming it's like a pomade, maybe? And then I got an actual, like, brow gel mascara, which also is a way too light. <laughs> It's like a, like an orange, like a bronzy color. So this eyebrow brush was a dollar eighty-eight. The brow duo was a dollar. The eyebrow gel mascara was a dollar, and the AOA waterproof brow gel was also a dollar. So this is in the shade one. I think it's too light, but it looked darker on the website. It also comes with this double end, but I will never use it. Okay. It's it's not terrible. It seems to be coming out the shade I need it to be. Ooh, okay. Alright, so where I have like barely any hair, it definitely is much lighter. Okay, this is not going to work. Okay, so that is not working for me because it is not my color at the top where I have like where my hairs are sparse. So I'm going to try this squeezy brow gel because it seems like it's going to be almost like a pomade and this is way too soft of a brush like it is not sturdy much better but again this is brow gel so hopefully <laughs> it doesn't do too bad of a job and this brush is thick and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with that brow powder that I said was too light and use that in the front to kind of give myself, so just to give myself like a, so it's not as blocky if that makes sense. But that, these brushes are not good. Okay, so I am doing the best with what I have to work with. Um, these brow products are a new. So... I'm going to attempt to use this brow gel that is like freaking golden bronze. I'm gonna stop right there. It is a way too like golden brown. This is it, this is what we're working with. Turn the camera off now. This is my brow, oh 
my god, look at my brows! Alright, so the next thing I do is I go in with concealer. I also got this AOA Studio Concealer for $1.55. And I got it in light ivory. Okay. Alright, so I need to find a thin brush to line to kind of clean up these eyebrows. So I have this one. It is the E131. It's just a flat top brush. And we're going to go in with that concealer. It's so liquidy. This is not thick at all. So I didn't get any eye primer. So I'm going to take that concealer all the way down to my lid. So I was able to actually clean up a little bit of this eyebrow situation over here with that concealer. So it's thick enough to do that. But again, it's just not to my consistency, if you know what I mean. Oh, I did get an eyeshadow primer. Okay. Let's go up in here. All right. So this eyeshadow primer is by Amuse Cosmetics and it too was a dollar. All right, so we're gonna try this out. I do have concealer on my eye, but okay, okay. Look at that. I should have used that for a freaking concealing. That is thick. I like her. Okay, so this primer, I'm here for it. I actually like it, and for a dollar, it didn't do too bad. Let's see what it looks like with this this look. All right, so I have three different eyeshadow choices. I have Santi, both of them are Santi Sun, Sunshine Collection eyeshadows, and they're super fancy. And then I have this guy, which is Immersed 25 Eyeshadow Palette. It does have some pretty colors in here. I'm intrigued. I'm a little intrigued, so let's see what I can come up with with all of these combined. So the big 25 um, eyeshadow was $10, and these two smaller ones were a dollar a piece, and these are shimmers, so I'm going to try to incorporate them all. And then I'm going in with a Santi Matte Powder from the Sun Sunshine Collection. Going in here, and actually this is not a bad powder. I mean, it's doing pretty well. I'm going into this, like, burnt orangey color right here. And I'm going to place that in my crease. And I'm just placing that color right in the crease. Just, I'm pressing to see how that pigment picks up. So... It doesn't look too bad. It's a little light, but okay. And then I'm going to use this blending one to go into the same color. And then I'm going to blend it up a little bit. So the brush I used before this wasn't bad. And this one isn't terrible. It just gives you that cheap, like, folding and flickering instead of staying stiff and blending. It's not bad. I mean, I've seen worse pigment. Okay, so the pigment isn't yeah, perfect, but it isn't terrible. Um, the primer also is clinging to all of my dry nasties. Um, so those are flaking up. That's fine. <laughs> but I really feel like that's not a bad color for being the transition that I want. So I'm going to take that first packing brush that I used for the crease and I'm going to go in with this darker orange. We're going to do like an orangey shimmery look and I'm just going to pack it in the crease. I'm also going to bring it to my outer crease here. I feel like blending it definitely gets rid of some of that pigment but it didn't have too much to begin with. So, I guess it's only up from here, right? So I feel like that's probably going to be as much of that color as I can get to pick up. So I'm going to swatch some of these shimmers because I'm actually going to... Oh my god. Ooh, because I'm actually going to be using one of the smaller palettes. Oh, I love that. Okay, duochrome eyeshadow. So maybe these aren't as bad as I thought. Like, these are pretty shimmery. Okay. I might actually be going in with this blue. Because that is calling my name with this orange. And I'm going to go in with that blue. 
and we're just gonna have a blue moment like this blue oh my god this is actually really pretty like I feel like you definitely have to do a few layers but it ain't bad so I did have to switch to a morphe brush that I have because it just wasn't I thought it was the shadow but it was actually the brush like it's just so synthetic and like fake plasticky that it just was not picking up the color and now that I have like this brush it's the morphe m124 it is literally laying this color down so good so the only thing I'm noticing while I am sitting here working with this blue one a little bit more is that it is giving me quite a bit of fallout and there's nothing worse than a blue shadow falling out on your under eye because then you look like you've been punched um but also it's not shimmery like it looks like it's a metallic color but it's like see how it shines a little but I don't shine on my eyes like it looks like a matte and I also went back into that darker orange to just blend it a little bit better um and I think this is kind of as good as we're gonna get I'm gonna try to go in over top with my finger just to do a little bit more boom boom because you know your finger always does like way better when it comes to like shimmers so I just went ahead and used my fingers just to pop a little bit more back on there is quite a bit of fallout in this palette I'm not gonna lie hate that but not a deal breaker for me because there's a lot of expensive palettes with a lot of fallout so this is what we have for the eyes as of right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to my face. So I have two primers. I have the AOA Aqua Hydrating Face Primer and then the AOA Studio Perfect Filter Primer. I think I'm gonna go with the Perfect Filter Primer for $1.55 and the Aqua Primer was a dollar. I just feel like it's gonna be too runny. So we're going in with the Perfect Filter face from okay oh it has so much fragrance in it my face is going to freaking kill me it feels disgusting and it stinks it's very runny like it doesn't feel like a primer and this one so I wanted to try the aqua one just to see how it feels and it literally looks exactly the same just more clear it too is fragranced <laughs> so I got two beauty blenders they're called Paul Paul wonder blenders aoa studio makes them they also were $1.55 they're just pink beauty sponges that definitely seems to be their price across the board i got two of them i got the regular egg shape and then i got the egg slash flat shape okay so they did get significantly bigger and they're pretty soft okay so i got two foundations they looked much darker online so I got two because I was like well if I'm darker or I'm lighter I can kind of mix them but they look exactly the same these were also a dollar 55 look at the difference one is sand and one is natural beige and they're supposed to be full coverage shake it it says so I'm gonna put some on here and kind of see so this one might this is natural beige that's as good as we're getting. And then this is the other one. Oh, this one actually looks darker too. No, no. Look, look at that. It looks so white. Okay, so we're gonna go with the first one. I'm waiting to see if it oxidizes. I feel like I'm gonna turn orange. Does anybody else feel that for me? I feel that for me. So it's supposed to be full coverage, we'll see. So the sponges are actually not bad. Like they're as soft as they feel when you squeeze them. The coverage I feel like is not full coverage but definitely could be built to full coverage. I honestly feel like if I got this foundation in my closer of a shade it would not be so bad. Like the coverage isn't terrible. I, it's really not bad. I do see it clinging to a lot of dry areas I have but if you don't have dry skin I don't think it's going to be that bad of a buy and like if you look like when I turn I don't know if that's the primer or the foundation but it definitely I have like this glowy natural look and I have put no highlighter on so I'm gonna have to use a brush to apply the concealer so I'm gonna use this flatter brush to apply the concealer because the concealer comes in a tube All right, so I'm going in with that other blending sponge that I have. I hate this concealer so bad. 
it's just too thin of a formula. Like it's definitely brightening, but it's so lightweight that I'm gonna have to like go in a couple times. So I did the best I can with that. We're gonna go in with this setting powder and I don't have any face brushes. So I'm gonna go in with my hourglass brush for setting powder and my dollar setting powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and just set it. The setting powder isn't bad for a dollar it sets. It most definitely doesn't blur anything or make anything look smooth, but it does its job. It does set my concealer, so. All right, so I'm gonna go in to the under eye real quick just to finish that up. And I'm gonna use this little brush here. And I think I'm gonna go into the orange. Just because that blue was way too much fallout for me to put in my under eye. I'll go into one of these little ones to do the inner corner. Just so I can try these shimmers. I don't have to use these another time and tell you what I think about them. Alright, so I'm going into this white color right here with this super skinny pencil brush. I mean, it's doing it. I just maybe should have picked a bigger brush. <laughs> Let's go back to the face. I got lots of face options. So I got an AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter. There's like nothing there. Okay, and the baked highlighter was a dollar as well. I have a halo highlighter, which is by AOA Studio. It literally looks like the same thing. It is powdery as well. I mean, this isn't shiny, like, at all. Okay, and this is also by AOA. So AOA Studios is a big, obviously, company with them. And this is a velour highlighter. It's much smaller, and it definitely seems, oh, it's a cream. I like how that feels. I like how it feels, uh, but again, it didn't really give me any shine. Okay, so the last highlighter palette is a quad, and I can't find it on there. Um, but it didn't come with a sticky either, so I'm going to like, eh. There is, first of all, nothing but fragrance on here. And I'll swatch them for you. But there's no shine in them. Maybe this yellow one. But when I swatch them, they literally are just powders. So they're going to be a definite no. And they smell like baby powder. <laughs> All right, so I'll have to use one of those, but I'm going to go into the bronzer that I got, which is the Amuse 3-in-1 Blush Kit. It's the only, like, blush bronzer. It says contour, but it's very warm, so it won't be. All right, so this was a dollar two. It's the only, like, blush bronzer situation I could really find. Um, I did find this. But I'm not going to put it on my face. It's the same as the other one. And it also smells like that. And they're shimmery. So I really, I'll open it to show you. But I'm just really not, I don't want to put any more fragrance on my face. And I honestly don't think any of those are going to really do what I need them to do. So this one has a matte bronzer. It says contour. It's not contour. It's so orangey brown. It's very warm. It's not terrible. It's not... And there's actually a highlighter in the palette I might use. Or I might go to the baked one. It's so like a orangey. I don't know. It's not bad. I don't hate it for a dollar, but I will probably never use it again. Let's see how the blush goes. Okay, it's subtle. I definitely thought it was gonna carry more of a kick. All right, so I'm gonna go in with that baked blush, that baked highlighter, and just pop her on there. Oh, oh. Okay, so this gives me like super glowy vibes, and I can build this or wear it more natural too. I feel like if I didn't go so ham with the brush, I love this. This is so far my favorite item, so far. 
right, so we're gonna move on to the lips. Okay, so I got a lip, liquid lipstick and a regular lipstick, and neither of these are gonna match this look, so just bear with me. Um, but this looks like a Pat McGrath lipstick with the lips there, so I had to get this one, and this is Sparkle Magic Glitter Lipstick, and it's a dollar, and I'm not putting that on my lips. Ew. Hold on. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a bunch of bumps and a white cast. Maybe it's the glitter, the chunky stuff, and it broke. Okay, so that's gonna be a no just because it looks disgusting and old. But that was a dollar. And then we have this one, which is a Muse Long Lasting Lip Color. And it is like a tube, and it's going to be literally identical without the glitter. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on. It has a really weird doe foot. And again, the color does not match my eyes. No matter what I do, I can't get it to be pigmented. Like, you can see through it. I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but it's definitely very transparent. Um, and I put several layers on. It's just sticky and tacky. So I got three new things, or three more things, but several of each. I got lashes, lash glue, mascara. So the lashes I got were AOA Studio Premium Lashes. And I got them in Molly and Jackie. And surprise, surprise, they reach $1.55. I'm gonna be going in with Jackie because they are a little bit more fluffy and fluttery and to my liking. They do say they're 3D faux mink. I also got the Super Strip Lash Adhesive by AOA and it was $1.88. Oh, they changed it up. So the lash glue gets tacky like super fast. So you have to be like on it. And for some reason I was struggling with my nails. Um, it was sticking to them. Like that is the tackiest glue I've ever used. Um, I'm not hating it. Like it's stuck on there. I'm, I'm really a big fan of the lash glue and the lashes are really nice. Like they're not as full as I would prefer, but if you want like a wispy, long, luxurious look without that like thick lash, then these are gonna be something you like. And for the price that I paid for them, that ain't bad. That is not bad. So I also cannot find this one on their website. So, but I'm assuming it was about a dollar. So what I'm starting to notice is some of them were not on here anymore. So I don't know if maybe they don't sell the brands all the time. They kind of just switch it up. I don't really know. Like I said, I'm new to this brand. So if you guys have you, oh, that is a big brush, okay. If you guys have used this brand or bought stuff from this website or this company, comment below and tell me what you've got. Do you love it? Do you absolutely hate it? Have you bought more since the first time? So, <laughs> the mascara is okay. I mean, it's definitely not the Huda Legit Lash. Um, I can't really get enough on my brush. I can get enough on the end of my brush, but not enough on the wand. So that is the last item. Oh my gosh, I got so much stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do my final thoughts. Um, honestly, there were several things that I actually really liked and there were several things that I hated. The concealer I hated, the brushes I hated, this lipstick, this Pat McGrath wannabe I did not like. Um, the blush quads I don't think are worth it or the highlighter quads. Um, what else didn't I like? The lipsticks. No. I did like how the buttercream lip balms made my lips feel while I was doing the rest of my foundation and face. The foundation, hear me out, it ain't bad. Like, when I'm looking at it, it does hold on to my texture a little bit and my dry area. But that's my skin underneath too. Um, I get that with a lot of foundations, but it does kind of settle in some of my fine lines. So, but it's a dollar fifty-five. I definitely love this. At first, I tried to shade it, but then it said, "Hold up, 
hold up. Let me show you what I got. Um, the powder, the setting powder I liked, I love how soft it was. Um, the mascara was a no. The lash glue, a yes. Probably not ever gonna buy these one. I don't like the little eyeshadow palettes. I prefer a big eyeshadow palette or singles. Like, there's no in between. This was okay. For $10, you're getting what you paid for. The colors went on. They look beautiful. Some of the shimmers were not actually shimmers, but the payoff was really good. If you guys want to see me do another look from this palette, go ahead and comment below and I will. But I love this look and how it turned out. Honestly, I think this is a pretty dang good company to buy from. Um, considering you're only really risking like a dollar something a product and for the most part i loved a lot of these products and i will probably be buying or doing another order again so if you guys want to see me buy some more stuff or if you guys have used this company before and you have favorites from them or things that you like or things you want to try then go ahead and comment those down below and i will order them and check them out so i'm gonna give this company a big thumbs up uh shop is exactly what I believe the website is. Yes, so shop M-I-S-S-A.com. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment below and tell me if you have tried this brand and what you love from them if you have. And give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.